Tonight, alarm bells are being sounded. Kenya is experiencing a full-blown COVID-19 outbreak, and the spread of the virus is not just intensifying in Nairobi, but all the other 46 counties as well. The latest curve of the confirmed cases, deaths, and positivity rate show the extent of an unfolding spike in infections. This, as 836 more people tested positive for the virus, bringing to 50,833, the total number of positive cases since March. Dorcas Wangira reports on statistics that are painting a worrying picture of a pandemic that could get out of hand. None of the country's 47 counties has been spared. <laughs> Cases rising by the day as hospitals record high numbers of admissions. Nairobi, which recorded 556 new cases, remains the country's epicenter, recording 24,631 cumulative cases. Mombasa has 4,032, Kiambu 3,057, Nakuru 2,451, Kajiado 2,155, Machakos 1,590, Busia 1,495, Wasingishu 1,423, Kisumu 1,085, and Kericho 668. These 10 counties leading in the number of infections. Another major concern is the increasing number of admissions in the hospitals across the country. Most facilities approaching full capacity. According to the Ministry of Health, 1,150 patients have been admitted in health facilities and 3,961 are in home-based isolation. 38 patients are in ICU, the Moi Teaching and Referral Hospital having 147 patients, the Nairobi Hospital 57 and KNH 51. The counties with the highest admissions include Kericho, Mombasa, Bungoma, Kakamega, Busia and Uasingishu. In Mombasa, infections have been recorded in schools with the head teacher succumbing to the virus. The county assembly has been closed for two weeks after three members tested positive for the coronavirus disease. Nurses are now calling on the county government to put in more measures in order to protect them. Kwa sababu tumekuwa kwa nasara ni baledi. Na so far, tukisema sahi ni kwamba tuna demand kupia serikali ya Mombasa iweze kulipa mshara wa mwezi wa Oktober. Ndiyo wa, wa, wafanyi kazi wa Mombasa waweze kuwa na ile morali ya kuenda kufanya kazi. Five doctors, ten nurses have been reported to test positive for COVID-19 at the Kakamega General Hospital. Lack of proper PPE, exposing frontline workers. Two clinical officers have succumbed to the virus with 20 others infected in the line of duty over the last one month. The latest curves of the weekly COVID-19, new confirmed cases, and the increasing number of double-digit deaths indicate a sharp spike of infections, with indications that the second peak for this particular wave of infections may surpass that of the first. In the last 24 hours, 836 new cases have been recorded, bringing to 50,833 the total number of cases. 403 recoveries have been recorded, 14 deaths were registered, bringing to 934 for the total number of deaths. WHO has warned that it's not enough to be reactive. A dark long night it could be for Kenya as the numbers confirm only one certainty. The pandemic is on the rampage and it is moving from bad to worse. Dorcas Wangira, Citizen TV, Nairobi.